and where you are from. You have already talked to us. Thank you very much for sharing. I don't know if you want to, to say anything else. Mm, no, I, I don't know. All right. Thank you very much, Lourdes. <laughs> All right, Lourdes, who's next? Um, I don't know who is already talk. Um, because I uh, just come in the, the um, class. All right. Well, uh, if, I then, if I decide, I think Leticia. All right. Leticia is good. All right. Thank you. Leticia, hello. Don't be shy. <laughs> you know what? Uh, there's also the option if you have problems with your microphone, we have the chat. So that's another mean of communication so that you can express what you want to say. So, uh, Leticia, we don't know if you are having problems with your microphone. Maybe yes. Maybe she's having problems with her microphone. So, uh, uh, Lourdes, why don't you choose anybody else? Mm, I think then I choose Edgar. Right, I thank you very much. Edgar, hello. Uh, hi, everybody. Yeah, well, my name is Edgar. Um, I live most of the time in Mexico City. Sometimes because of my work, I travel to Monterrey and sometimes I travel um, a few weeks to Houston, Texas. So those are probably my three main cities for working. Um, uh, uh, I live on Mex in Mexico City, but I was born in Acapulco, so um, probably I, I lost my accent, and I you're hearing my Chilango accent right now. <laughs> and it, that's a pity, because the Guerrero accent is wonderful, it's beautiful. Yeah, but I've been living in Mexico City like 25 years. <laughs> oh, that's why. So, yeah, that's the reason that probably I... Love my proudly um, accent from Acapulco. <laughs> oh my! Well, all right. Don't worry. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Edgar, uh, who's next? Um, I will say that Arturo Cuevas next. Right. Next. Okay. Thank you very much. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can listen to you. Okay, this is Arturo Cuevas. I am from Mexico City. Um, I am an elect electrical electronic engineer, but I work in, like a system engineer. Uh, recently, I am studying the, um, the career in UNADEM uh, called uh, Management in Health Services. Yeah. Uh, I like swimming, and I think that that's all. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Arturo. Okay, Arturo, who's next? Uh, I was thinking um, Jorge Ivan. Right, thank you. Hello, Jorge Ivan, we can listen to you. Come on, don't be shy. All right, you know what? Maybe Jorge is having problems with his microphone. So, um, good night, teacher. I hear. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, Jorge, please talk to us about yourself. Tell us who you are, what you do, where you are from. Okay. My name is Jorge Iván. Uh, I am from Tuzla Gutierrez, Chiapas. Uh, I am a teacher. Uh, I I am 20 years old. Um, I work uh, all day. Uh, 
any more? Well, that's it. Thank you very much. Hey, you're so young and you are a teacher. That's pretty nice. All right. What is your name, teacher? Maggie? Uh, yeah, my name is Maggie. Okay. All right. So please, um, uh, who's next? Teacher, this is the first class conversation. Yes. Okay. This is the first conversation class. Okay. All right. So, uh, please, Ivan, who's next? Who's next? Yeah. Who do you want to listen to? Uh, do you want to listen to Lydia, to Edith? To okay. Elena? I don't listen anymore. And I see by chat Leticia and Lydia. All right. Okay. So who? Leticia or Lydia? Mm, Lydia. All right. Thank you very much, Lydia. Hello. I listen. I listen. Uh, very slow. Very slowly. Oh. Hello. Hello. Do you hear me? Somebody hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Thank you. Hi. My name is Lydia Alicia. Um, I prefer to call me Alice. Um, I am 44 years old. I have a, a little boy. Um, he, he he has 10 years old. Um, I I have already studied English since um, six months, more or less. Uh, I remember that I studied that in high school, uh, but uh, um, in the school that me that my sons are studied is uh, has English. Uh, so when I can, when I need to help him to her work homework, it's it's so difficult. That's the reason that I have to learn more. <laughs> hey, yes. That's great. All right. Thank you very much, Lydia. All right. Lydia, tell us who's next. Yeah, uh, Letty. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay. We don't know if Letty has already solved her problems with her microphone. Uh, probably not. Um, but anyway, anybody? Else? Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Do you hear me? Yes, we listen to you. Please talk to to us about yourself. Myself. Uh, well, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm 32 year years old, and I work in Bachiller Stent. Um, and my favorite uh, hobby is jogging. I love jogging in the morning and in the evening because I feel uh, very relaxed when I do that. And one of one of my other hobbies is teaching. Uh, for me, it's very important teaching. And um, when I teach, I feel very great. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I, uh, one more question. What's your last name? Elizabeth Tafoya. Thank you very much. Elizabeth, who do you want to listen to? Who's next? Uh, I don't know if Jose Luis. All right. Uh, will talk. Okay. Okay, Jose Luis, can we listen to you? Yes. All right, please talk to us about yourself. Okay, my name is Jose Luis. I studied foreign affairs at the university. I like, I don't know, I like playing video games and doing exercise. 
but I don't do it. <laughs> and I don't know what else. Um, I like I like teach English and speak English. I like teach English to my friends, to my to my family. I don't know. All what right. Else? All right, Jose Luis, another question. What's your last name? My last name is Andrade. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so Jose Luis, who's next? I, I don't know, maybe Lydia? E, all right, yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Or someone, or someone, someone uh, who is not passed? Yeah, we we miss a lot of people. We they haven't spoken. For example, it is um, Jamile, Norma Arteaga. Okay, Jamile. All right, thank you. Hi. Hello, Jamile. <laughs> How are you? We are fine, thank you. What about you? Fine, thanks. Well, um, my name is Yamile, man, my last name Gomez, and I'm from Hermosillo, Sonora. But since 20 years ago, I arrived to Mexico City, and uh, I'm still living here. <coughs> um, I work at National Immigration Institute, but nowadays I work like a, a yoga and a belly dance teacher because I studied two professional modern dance only one year uh, at Olinjo Listli in Mexico City. Wow. Uh, yes, I love it, but it uh, was very difficult to me. Yeah, so only I, I, I do one year. And uh, well, at uh, UNA is my second major, my first major. Uh, was international affairs at uh, UNAM, also in Mexico City. Oh. Uh, yeah, my hobbies are dancing, play the piano, and running. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay, Jamile, could you uh, remind me your last name? Gomez. Thank you very much. Okay, Jamile, who's next? Uh, the next will be, um, I'm looking for, <laughs> uh, Miriam. All right, thank you very much. <coughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, Hello. everybody. Uh, okay. Uh, the question is, why do you like your hobby so much? Uh, well, no, we were introducing ourselves. Ah, okay. <laughs> what we uh, do. My name is Miriam Moreno Flores. Okay, I live in Milpalta. I work, uh, or oh, I have been working in Colegio de Bachilleres uh, for several years uh, in branch number 14, Fidencia Villanueva Rojas. Okay, uh, I am, or oh, I am almost divorced. I have two little children. One of them is 12 and the other one is 13. Uh, and I like I love eating chocolates. Mm. I enjoy classical music. But yes, but I I <clears throat> I don't have to to eat chocolates, no sugar, no salt anymore because I am I am sick. Oh my, really sick. So that's why no more sugar, no more salt, no fatty food, no junk food, no nothing. So that's why I have to I have to to take care of myself. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, Miriam, thank you very much for your participation. Tell us who's next. Uh, we have skipped Maria Robles, Estela. Uh, we would like to listen also to who else, who else? Estela, why don't you talk to us about yourself? Uh, okay. Yes, hello everybody. Um, as I have told you before, I I went to I went to schools uh, in Bachelor's School Number Three, Branch Number Three, and High School um, 
uh, Antonio Caso. Uh, it belongs to, to the university. Yes, um, I've been working for several years. And I really like teaching. And it, it, I can see a question, it's what I, uh, about my hobbies. Um, I don't have too much uh, free time. Um, but when I have free time, I enjoy going out with my two daughters. I have two daughters, they are teenagers. And I like to go to downtown, and we, we enjoy walking on the streets from, uh, from the city of, from Mexico City, and um, taking, uh, having coffee, and talking about. Uh, I, I I try to be in contact all the time with my two daughters, what they think, uh, their, uh, what are their aspirations, and what is happening in their minds. Uh, that's uh, very important for me. And another activity that I like doing is dancing. I really like dancing. I would like to have time to take a course of dancing, but I, the thing is I don't have time. But I, when I listen to music, it, it really makes me feel that I'm in a different world. <laughs> it makes me feel happy, and it changes my, my, my humor, my mood, yes? Um, another hobby, um, uh, I like listening to music, especially classical music. Uh, um, I really enjoy it uh, at weekends when I'm with my family and we're going to have dinner and always play a piece of music just to, like, to, to, to feel more comfortable and enjoy the, the meal, our meal. And that's all. <laughs> Thank you very much, Estela. All right. So I guess um, the one who's missing is Maria Robles and anybody else. Am I skipping anybody? Yes. Can I go next? All right. So, yes, please. Uh, well, uh, hi, everybody. My name is Norma Arteaga. I'm 28 years old. I have a two-year-old son. His name is Camilo. Uh, well, I, I teach law at the UNAP. Um, I also have a full-time job as a mom. <laughs> um, I live in Mexico City, but I'm from Morelia. Also, well, I also speak a little French, and I like to sing in French and pretend that I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> hey, that's great. Thank you very much, Norma. All right. So let's listen now to Maria, Maria Robles, please. <clears throat> Hello, Maria. Don't be shy. <laughs> All right. Maybe she's having also some problems about her microphone. But Maria, if you can't speak, uh, well, it, it is possible also to chat, <coughs> write your ideas in the chat. Okay, so you know what? Uh, I have a, a question about hobbies. Of course. Hi, Maria. All right, so you know what? I think that hobbies are not only useful for having a nice time. A have, hobbies also, for me, from my point of view, have the um, uh, function to make people feel happy, make people to feel relaxed. Because whenever we do some activity that we enjoy, something that we like doing, our brain produces dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, some substances that makes the body to be protected, to, that makes everything to be okay in our body. So to do a nice activity is not only relaxing, but also it is therapeutic because we can avoid many different diseases, many different illnesses. But I don't know what do you think about it. Do anybody have any opinion about it, something that you have heard that you have read in an article? No, anybody who raised your hands and to say, I want to speak? 
volunteers? Victims. Victims then, excellent, I like it. All right, my victim today is gonna be Jorge Ivan. Jorge Ivan, don't be shy. Yes. All right, what do you think about it? Do you think that I am right or do you have an opposite opinion? Uh, what is team? What is the team? Uh, well, I, I talked about the, 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 the function that hobbies have in our health. I said that hobbies make sometimes to be happy to people and we can be healthier. We can be happy and in addition, we can have a better health. So I don't know if you agree with me or you say, hey, Maggie, come on, you're dreaming. Teacher, I don't understand uh, very well. Could you repeat? Oh, yes, of course. Well, uh, Ivan, uh, what I said is that hobbies are beneficial for our health because they make people be happy. So what's your opinion? What, what is your hobbies? What is the hobbies? Uh, no. <laughs> you consider that hobbies are beneficial for health? That they are good for people? Yes, yes, it's, it's good uh, with the people, uh, the, these hobbies, because uh, help to... Um, help to relax relax and the sisters and funny because in any occasion uh, people is tired and need need to diverge diver, diversion and uh, any people uh, maybe like to read a book and buy a bicycle and swim and these hobbies uh, help to relax and is is funny. Yeah, that's it. And well, you know what? In a sense, we can feel happy. I don't know if happiness is important for people to be okay. Oh, so Jorge, who's next? Please tell me who's or your victim. Okay. Um, Jose Luis. All right, thank you. Hello. Hello, we can listen to you, Jose Luis. Yes. What happened? Yeah, so the question is this. Do you consider that to have a hobby help people to be happy and if it is important for people? Yes, it's, it's very important to, to have a hobby because you can you can get out your stress with, with, with one hobby. For example, uh, for me, playing video games is very relaxing. That's it. Excellent. And does it uh, give you any feeling of happiness whenever you play? Yes. I <laughs> I I was I was very happy when when I won a game. <clears throat> ah, yeah, that's it. The the yes, no, whenever you you win any game you feel happy that's great yes you're right yes okay. jose luis please talk to us who is your victim my victim mm, maggie I, I am maggie are you <laughs> maria robles <laughs> all right thank you very much okay maria we listen to you
Okay, I, I don't know if Maria is able to speak. In the meantime, uh, Norma Arteaga wants to speak also. Please, Norma, talk to us. Hi, again. <laughs> well, as I see it, uh, it is a way to avoid stress and eliminate bad thoughts. Uh, from my point of view, uh, I think it is important to have a time for ourselves uh, because, as you said, it, it prevents many disease. It doesn't have to be a very extravagant hobby. You can find joy in small things like reading a book, and painting, playing some instrument. Um, I don't know. Also, putting together a puzzle could be really helpful for our health. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Hey, that was so sensible. And thank you. Please, uh, Norma, tell us who's next. Uh, 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 well, um, Yamile. All right, thank you very much. Yamile, we listen to you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I, I agree with you because I think um, all the hobbies have the, fu the function not only to make uh, people relax so, and also make the people a better person because if you have a person that uh, improves uh -huh. uh, topics uh, in which uh, he enjoy he loving or he, or or they um, they enjoy it and they will be a better person so i think it's uh, very good to, to improve our hobbies not only a study or something like or work or something like that because hobbies and um, make uh, the people to to looking for and to to show at the world the the other part in his personality like uh, for example hobbies like uh, exercise like dancing like uh, reading a book something like that uh, are uh, good topics because uh, you, you you improve your personality and you improve uh, the artistic um, Side. Uh, so I'm agree with you. I think uh, every person um, must be to improve his hobbies because uh, this is a point uh, to make a better world. Hey, that's it. Thank you very much. All right. You know what? Here we have some uh, messages. Maria Robles says, I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening with the mic. It's okay, Maria, don't worry. Leonardo said, hi, everyone. I had the same problem with my mic. So uh, also in my, in my smartphone. Okay, so don't worry. Um, Leti said, the class hasn't started yet. Don't worry. Uh, well, Leti, here we are. <clears throat> All right. So uh, maybe, maybe Leti can and to us let me let me send here a message it makes me think that she's not listening to us let me can you listen to us all right so uh, thank you very much uh, elizabeth so please tell us who's next uh, Yamile. <laughs> uh, yeah, Yamile, I'm sorry. Thank you. Elizabeth wanted to speak. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to speak, oh, of course. All right. Uh, uh, well, you, you ask that uh, if we think that it is necessary to be happy when we do our ho hobby? Yep. Or, okay? or, or maybe to have a hobby for being happy. Okay, yes, I think have a hobby makes you happy, but you don't feel happy all the time. Because when you are a, a, you are trying to get a goal, for example, when you run, my hobby is running and jogging. At the beginning, I didn't feel uh, happy because I couldn't run fast and I, I felt uh, really tired very soon. And I didn't feel 
good, but through the time, I feel, I feel very good because uh, I, I knew that I improved myself. So that I think that that is the point of a hobby. Um, you don't feel uh, happy all the time or relaxed because sometimes it's a challenge, your hobby. So, but when you get the goal and when you improve yourself, uh, I think that is the, the, the real happiness. Hey, that's it. You know what? It is so sensible. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Yes, you're right. Okay. Anybody else's opinion, volunteers? <clears throat> yes, Stella. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think that hobbies, that hobbies relieve stress and make you think, uh, think that it, it helps you to eliminate bad thoughts. And um, encouraged to rethink the the problems or the situations that you have to face in everyday life, and of course uh, they they help they help to have a um, a better mental mental health, uh -huh. and uh, I think that also helps to improve our identity because through the hobbies we. Uh, we are in contact with other people and we make friends. Um, having friends is very important for people because we are a social mm. uh, human beings. And when we work uh, in teams and when we uh, share our thoughts and our feelings with people, we feel good. That's my opinion. All right, thank you very much. All right, you know what? Uh, um, I think that you're right. Uh, that uh, feeling of satisfaction makes us feel really good. All right, so please tell me who's next. Or me. Yeah, all right. Me, me. Alice. Okay, Alice. Alice. Lydia. <laughs> all right, please continue. <laughs> Okay, I think that the hobbies is a uh, one opportunity for for change your life. No? You can see the different way. If you practice hobbies, you can smell, you can be more healthy, and you have to learn some disease. And if, if you do something that like you can see um, the light positive and, All right. and, uh, and maybe some some person do something um, but they don't think that that was a hobby you no know? but hobby is is not is not so only sport or reading or listen to music or watch watch TV. It, it can be talking to a friend, no? or look at a card, something that you like. If you do that, you is mad. That's okay? it. Yeah. Thank you. To you. Yeah, you're right. You, you said something so interesting. You said something about how to uh, have human contact makes people also to feel happy, not only to have any other activity. All right. Anybody else who apports any idea? Uh, hello. This is uh, Isabel. All right, Isabel. Uh, yes, I want to talk about my hobbies I use them to recharge my battery because uh, I used to work so hard uh, so many times and and I like the the movies or the music or grow up some uh, fruit trees or vegetables and at the end of the week uh, I watch my movies or I listen to my music, then I, I feel very comfortable and I'm ready to another hard week. 
Yeah, that's it. Yes, you're right. Okay. okay. So anybody, anybody else, kids? Hello, don't be shy. Edgar, Edith, we, we can't listen to you. Leonardo, hello. Lourdes, okay, we listen to you. Yes, uh, I think hobby is an activity that I like to do. And uh, I can, we can uh, think about our jobs like a hobby also. Uh, if our job, uh, we like to do that. If we is that some activities could, uh, that we do all, all the time can be hobbies, uh, we do these activities in, uh, in a in very in a very uh, in for in a very form uh, like the job uh, we can think uh, that the job is a hobby and make of this kind of activities uh, in, something that I like, that we like. You know what? Uh, yeah. Whenever you were speaking, I was thinking about myself because, well, I, uh, I, don't, I know that this, this is not a uh, Neuroticos Anonymous. This is not the place to, to tell you my problems or to say my life. But I would like to, to talk about myself something. You know what? I... I am divorced. I have three children, three uh, young adult children, but two of them are married and they don't live with me. The youngest of, of them, he, he's not married, he's single, but he's a university student, student and he doesn't live with me. So I am extremely alone. And I have two cats. Maybe one day I am going to have 57 or kind of like that. Uh, I am the woman who is going to be living with the 57 cats. Uh, but you know what? Uh, once upon a time, somebody told me, Maggie, uh, what do you do for being happy? And I said, I work. And they told me, no, Maggie, I mean, what happens with your life? And I said, I work. I just work. I don't do anything else. From Monday to Friday, I work. On Saturday, I work. And on Sunday, I do too. I work. And so they said, how can you be happy? And uh, when it, so I said, I am extremely happy when I work because I really enjoy the contact with my students. I really enjoy listening to them. I enjoy also maybe sometimes yelling to them in the preparatory school or well you know what it is my way to be happy and one day my granddaughter told me hey Granny, you said that you work a lot and i see you all of the time laughing with your students what time do you work and i realized i said yes i don't work i really have fun I really love what I'm doing, so for me it's really nice, so, so really relaxing. Of course, I get tired because I have fun all day long, from 7 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock in the night. But, but yes, it is something like having a, a hobby in what you do. Uh, but, well, you know what? I would like to tell you also, and, and I would like you to tell me your opinion. Is it, is it okay whenever you are obligated to do something? Uh, is, is it a hobby? When, for example, let's suppose that you have a child and suddenly you say, hey baby, it is good for you to play the piano. So you will play the piano. And the boy said, you know what? I want to play football. 
and you say, no, the piano. But I want to be an athlete. No, a pianist. And so he's obligated to do something that he doesn't like. And we say, it is in your benefit. One day you will think, what's your opinion? What do you think about it, volunteers? Okay, this is uh, Isabel. Okay. Yes, I think that uh, everybody must choose what they want to do. Even a child uh, must have an option to select what he want to do, how he is going to spend his or her time. Um, because for myself, uh, my, my job is very interesting for me. I am an um, electronics engineer and I used to work for Sony and I used to um, to work for an uh, investigation on the uh, technology and and I'm very involved on that and I like so much and it's like like you I like so much my job that uh, it's very pleasing to me to work on that so uh, I think the the kids they most have that option to select what they want to do. We 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 don't need to um, obligate to do that, something else. That's it. I totally agree with you. Thank you. All right. So, anybody else? Yes, Stella. Okay, Stella. We listen to you. And that is it. Hey, good. All right. We listen to you. I think that when you don't like doing an activity and you are forced to do it, you don't do it well. And maybe uh, you have the skill or the ability to do that to do that activity, but you don't feel happy. You, you don't feel uh, that you are doing what you like. And I think, as you said, okay, everybody, we have the right of doing what we like doing. Uh, and I don't agree that our uh, working uh, oh, okay. Our activity as a teacher is a hobby. It's a job. It's something that we like doing. But for me, hobby is something that relaxes, that I have, that I'm not under pressure, uh, that I feel um, good, uh, and it helps me. It, it helps me to recharge my batteries, to do my my work well. Yes, and All that's right. for. Hobby. But that's for me, hobby. And doing something that you don't like doing? No. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to be in that case. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thank you, Stella. All right, Edith, what about you? Hello. Good night, all. I think that um, the hobby is uh, an activity that gives you enjoy and <coughs> you feel happy, but... Uh, the hobby you can do with every person or yourself. You can share your hobby, but you you, you don't you don't uh, you don't do a child. Uh, how I say? Um, obligar. Obligate. Obligate to a child to do that you want. That's it. Pretty good. Thank you, Edith. All right, Edgar, what do you think about it? Uh, yeah, well, um, I was thinking that a hobby is something that you do just probably a few hours um, on on daily basis. So when you say work, work is something that you do uh, probably more than eight hours. So Obviously, that's not a hobby. So a hobby must be something uh, that you do just one hour, two hours. And, and also, I was thinking that some of the hobbies that you have on, on, on your, can you see the PowerPoint <laughs> on your slide? It's like a video game and watching TV. Uh, those 
might be hobby for some people, but I don't consider them hobbies because watching TV is just for relaxing and um, wasting time and probably it's not good for, for most of the people, right? I mean, some people watch TV for um, watching a movie, so but that will be just two hours a day. Um, but if you watch TV or play video games uh, more than that, more I mean, five hours or something like that, I mean, that's not a hobby, it's like uh, something else. Yeah, that's it. All right, Edgar, thank you very much. You. Anybody else? Um, I. Yes. Um, well, I think um, that every everybody, everyone has their, their own life. And so we have to learn to give uh, freedom to us and to each other uh, to choose the, the way we want. And uh, I think we can show and uh, could be to combine with the example, but never obligate. I think this is not the, the good way. Yes, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, Jamile. All right, Norma, we we'll listen to you. Okay, well, um, as a parent, <laughs> um, we are going to do everything to give uh, our kids a proper education. But, uh, well, in my opinion, today, September 11th, 2018, I would like to respect um, their opinion unless I see something that goes against uh, their integrity, then I will say and express my, my disagreement. Uh, I think life is too short to waste it. In my case, I would like to have the knowledge to raise my kid wisely, to see him uh, happy and complete. That's it. You know what? I totally agree. Sometimes we think that we do the best uh, because we know what is convenient. But uh, you're right, totally right. Whenever we uh, make a decision, we have to take into consideration the opinion of the person who is involved in that decision. But, well, yes, uh, sometimes uh, there are people who don't think like that. But anyway, all right. Finally, I would like to take uh, something into consideration. Whenever we think we say hobby, of course, we are talking about something that relaxes people, that uh, provides from happiness, from a spare time, something different from what they everybody every day do. Uh, but for example, there are some hobbies. Uh, uh, let me show you what am I talking about. Uh, here we are. Uh, uh, uh. Give me a moment. All right. Here we are. For example, we have family sewing, a uh, junk design, eating, cooking, running, uh, writing herbs, finding herbs, uh, riding horses, Argentine tango. Uh, there are many, many different activities. Is there any activity in here in the image that you don't consider a hobby? Can you repeat it, please? Oh, yes. Uh, is there any activity here in the image, uh, in the many words image, that you don't consider, consider um, a hobby? For example, here I can see speaking to groups. Um, yeah, for, teacher, um, for example, cooking for some people, that would be a hobby, but for some people that would be a war, right? Uh -huh. and yes. so, so it depends on, and mm -hmm. also reading, right? So there are people that work probably on, 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 on the TV or on the radio that they probably reading every day. 
So probably they don't want to go at the end of the day and pick a book and read more because that's what they do um, most of the day. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Here we have raising kids. What do you think about raising kids as a hobby? Raising? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, um, here, here they say raising kids. Racing kid. Racing kid. What does it mean? It's like In a dream coming to a mountain. Kind, no, it's kind, like of, kind of like, like to criar niños. Uh -huh. Criar. Criar niños. It's, it's not. Yes. <laughs> ah. I think racing kids is not a uh, uh, hobby. It's an activity. It's, hobby. it's a job. It's a job. It's, a, it's, it's a, difficult. It's, a, it's difficult. It's complicated. And, and it's very, it's very uh, difficult for the mother um, because it is the, the responsibility the raising kids in the morning, in the afternoon, uh, help to the homework. And, I think it is not a hobby yeah. for, me, for me. Yeah, that's it. And you know what? I found something else. Here we have drawing drawing whole house plants. What do you do? <laughs> Teacher, serving, no. serving others is a hobby. Aha, serving others. Is it a hobby? Serving others? Yeah. yeah, I consider this is a job. Yeah, or I don't know. Maybe they they mean to volunteer. Uh huh. Maggie, I have a question. I yes. don't understand the uh, the word here where it said finding herbs. What what does it mean? I don't understand. Finding herbs. Um, you know what we can. Uh, use the pencil so that you can sign out, you can sign the words that okay. you don't understand. So we can play also. Uh, somebody told me, teacher, ya le ensucié su presentación. It's okay, don't <laughs> worry. I can, I can erase it. But you can okay. use also the pencil. Okay. Okay. Going to meetings is not a hobby, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and even it, it can be so stressful sometimes. It says also hunting tarantula, that's not a hobby, that's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> I, would I wouldn't like to be hunting tarantulas. <laughs> that's it well yeah you know it, it, that's what I told you sometimes for some people it they could be so nice so interesting for some other people could be extremely dangerous or extremely uh, disgusting or for some others the job I have Jose, four, yeah. Jose, yeah, yeah. Jose Luis will listen to you I think it depends because Sometimes the meetings can be with your with your friends and it is a job, but sometimes is in a in a working place it is not good. <laughs> or maybe uh, reading, reading maybe is a a job for for some some people. But maybe when when you have to do homework and you have to reading, it is not a job. Yeah, that's it. You're right. Well, you know what? For me, this session has been extremely nice, so interesting, because we can we have been able to share some opinions, not only to practice English, but to talk a lot about mm -hmm. some interesting topics. So I thank you so much for your participation. Uh, thank you very much for your opinions. They were so nice to me. And a uh, good night. I hope to see you next Tuesday and have a very good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Yes.